Milton Coliseum in Ames, Iowa. The Sooners and the Cyclones getting set, and we're happy to have you with us as we get set for what should be a wonderful Big 8 basketball season. Hello, everybody. Jay Randolph, welcome and happy new year. Alongside my partner for 19 seasons in the Big 8, Gary Thompson, to analyze the action. Tell me about a couple of the people we'll be watching this afternoon. Okay, we got a lot of fine players this Big 8, and a couple of players have got off to a good start. First of all, for Oklahoma, Damon. Patterson sat out last year as a red shirt has really come back strong you see there leads the big eight in scoring he's number three in rebound the conference also number nine in the nation in scoring and then you move on to Iowa State Julius Mikulik a freshman from Czechoslovakia had a career high 23 points the other night against Loyola Chicago an excellent shooter and passer Gary, both coaches would tell you defense will be the key to victory today. Well, these two clubs will play good defense. Iowa State, a quick team, will play good, strong man for man. Oklahoma, possibly a little bit more pressure and traps. Both of these teams have something in common. Their losses came to the University of Massachusetts. Back with the starting lineups right after this. It was just another Saturday afternoon. Until those old guys came out of the woods. With axes. Just when they thought it couldn't get any weirder, it did. They even brought their own music. Awesome! Hey, fellas, how about a cold butt? A bud? Obviously, we thought alike. Oh, that's cold. Gillette presents Sensor, the system, the technology that will change the way you shave forever. Sensor, twin blades set on springs to read your face and respond. Independent suspension to sense and adjust to every curve of your face. No other razor comes close. Gillette Sensor, for the best shave a man can get. kept saying, someday I'm going to fix that door. Well, someday came yesterday morning, but I had no clue where to start. You can do it, Marcia, and it's not that hard. Here, let me show you. Well, I did it. Now I've got a screen door that stays open when I want it to and stays on its hinges. Next up, that leaky faucet. You can do it with True Value Hardware Stores. Ford designed a special truck for night people. So, of course, sports fans wanted one, too. Now, Ford introduces its new flare side for yet another side. Don't these people ever rest? The best ever rest. With a full-size night, sport, and bold new flare side, Ford takes all kinds in style. More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. The Sooners and the Cyclones here at Hilton. A sellout crowd. Here are the Dr. Pepper starting lineups. Patterson, Webster, Salier, Price, and Evans for the Sooners. Hoiberg, Eaton, Mikulik, Bayless, and Thigpen for the Cyclones. The officials, Stanley Reynolds, J.C. Lineback, Bill Westbrooks. We'll be back after this message from Philip 66, the performance company. Philip 66 blends its super clean gasoline for every season. So when the weather changes, your car's performance won't. Philip 66, the performance company. Okay, come on, boy. That's it. Let's go for a ride. Come on. Best friends don't let friends drink and drive. No, I'm fine. And they certainly don't ride with a friend who does. Larry Zonka, three of the straight Super Bowls. After that, he went to see sports personalities, as well as our own team of sports instructors, help host Norwegian Cruise Line cruises. No other cruise line has such an all-star lineup. Norwegian Cruise Line. The best vacation you've ever had. Plus, contact with someone like number 39, Larry Zonka.
and today's keys to the game are brought to you by Ford. Gary? Well, I think Oklahoma, their offensive rebounding has to be one thing. The other is their half court uh, defense. I think if they can stop Iowa State in their half court offense, that'll be a plus for them. Iowa State, they must deny the wing pass. That's where Iowa or Oklahoma likes to start their offense. They must get a lot of weak side help to prevent the lob to the inside people as they pressure man for man. Billy Tubbs. His 12th season at Oklahoma, the all-time winning as Sooner coach, nearing the 400 victory plateau. And Johnny Orr, the native of Taylorville, Illinois, his 12th season here at Ames, 27th season as a head coach. 156th meeting between these two rivals. Here we go. Patterson in there to jump it up, along with Howard Eaton. The shot taken very quickly there by Thigpen. And back to the attack comes Evans. Evans has a slight groin pull. The veteran drives in and gets the layup. Well, Jay didn't show it on that play. <laughs> he just took it right to the basket on the drive. This is Howard Eaton getting it in the lane. Oklahoma man for man. The weak side, they're sagging pretty much. Iowa State runs off that high post offense. The shot put up by Bayless, and that's Mikali with the tap in. The Giant from Czechoslovakia ties it up early. Eaton had a hand in there too, Jay. Foul called. In fact, that last basket, they did score it for Eaton. All right, if you're scoring with us, give it to Eaton. Foul called on Bayless is his first. This is Brent Price putting it in play to Evans. There's where Oklahoma likes to initiate their offense on that wing pass. Webster's shot wouldn't go. Good job on the rebound by Eaton. Bayless on the run. Tough shooting lock for Bayless. Rebound taken down by Webster. Oklahoma averaging over 100 points a game. Number one in scoring in the Big Eight. Six times they've been over 100 so far this year, Jay. Iowa State averaging 87.8. We talked about Hoiberg trying to overplay the pass. Now they swing it to the other side and free him up. Big pin on the run. And charge against Big Pen. Evans does a nice defensive job here. He's two on one. He's caught no place to go, so he likes to try and pick up on the, the dribbler. Watch here. He's got the two on one situation there. He comes in. But Thigpen doesn't pull up as he goes and elects to go for the man that delivers the ball, and he picks up the offensive foul. Two team fouls against Iowa State. Patterson off to Price. Price takes the little popper. Tapped up underneath there. And it was Damon Patterson who got the tap in. And that's one of the strengths of these Oklahoma Sooners. They, of their rebounding the entire this year, 41% of the rebounds are on the offensive glass. Big Pen kicks it back out to Bayless, around to Hoiberg. This is Mikuli. charge to Evans. That was Ron Bayless trying to go in and the first personal on Oklahoma and on Bayless. Jay, Iowa State right now, I've seen them play a number of times this year, starting out not moving the ball as crisp and as fast as they normally do. It's something they're starting out similar to the way they started against Massachusetts. And another foul call, that last foul called on Evans against Bayless. And this one charged to Eaton. That's the third team foul, his first. Eaton, a newcomer to this Iowa State squad, as most of these kids are. He's a junior college transfer out of Three Rivers Junior College in Missouri. Price from three-point range. Rebound Patterson, and he walked. That's the first turnover for Oklahoma. Two turnovers already for Iowa State. 
This Oklahoma club is the top rebounding team in the Big Eight, averaging 48.6 rebounds a game. Iowa State rebounding at a 35.9 clip. Hoiberg, the freshman, kicks it out. Eaton getting it back to Thigpen for the jumper. Yes! Good job by the Cyclones there. Working off the pick rather than trying to go one-on-one -on -one and getting the bucket out of their offense. And that's where they've been most successful this year. They've had pretty good chemistry playing together as a team. Oh, what Evans. a shot by Evans. Evans makes a nice move. He has four of his team's six points. Well, Jay, they were talking about Angelo Hamilton, who just rejoined this team at the semester, maybe possibly starting at the guard. It looks like uh, Terry Evans is going to want to nail down that starting spot and keep it. He started great. Ball batted away. Evans to Patterson. Patterson off the glass for two. And Oklahoma's up by four at 8-4 with 16-15 remaining in this first half. That's a tough matchup there. Hoiberg 6-4 against Patterson 6-8. And he does have him covering on the other end, too. A long one put up by Bayless. Rebounded away by Patterson. Underneath. Salier put it up. He was hacked. The foul charged to Eaton. It's his second. That'll be team foul number four. Typical Oklahoma here getting down the floor real quick. A good lob pass there. Salier going up strong, and he gets whacked by Eaton. Early foul trouble for Johnny Orr with Eaton, their leading rebounder, picking up two here in the first uh, almost four minutes of play. Salier is a 56% free throw shooter. The junior from Port Arthur, Texas. Is the Texas 4A player of the year, his senior year in high school. It's 9-4. to four. Oklahoma has the lead here at Hilton Coliseum. This big crowd enjoying the opening action of Big 8 play. Four trucks, the best never is. Four trucks. First compact truck in America was an import, remember? Uh-huh. And then along came Ford Ranger. Now the best-selling compact pickup five years running. Ranger offers four-liter power, push-button four-wheel drive. Technology the imports can't match. Mm hmm So who sent who back to the drawing board this time? More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. Check this out. Ouch! I'm sick of dating. You gotta fake it. So much madness, you just can't take it. Hey, don't go through this. I know what feels good. While the best thing's always so misunderstood. Just give me what the doctor ordered. Dr. Just what the doctor ordered. Just give you a Dr. Pepper. We want it. Whoa, just what the doctor ordered. The taste is made to order. We love it. Dr. Pepper. Have you ever dreamed of driving the world's finest automobile? An automobile that is unlike any you have ever driven. Do you have visions of being behind the wheel? of having at your fingertips the perfect blend of power, performance, and luxury. Then Betts Lexus wants to introduce you to the Lexus LS400, the quintessential performance luxury sedan. Awaken to the reality of an automobile that drives like a dream. Telecast, a copyrighted presentation of Raycom Incorporated, intended solely for the private use of our audience in any rebroadcast, retransmission, other use of the video or audio portions of the program without the express prior written consent of Raycom Incorporated is forbidden. Eaton bringing it down for Iowa State. Oklahoma going man to man. Iowa State looking for the back cut that time, but Hoiberg was not able to get it. Big pan missing and the rebound taken down by Webster. The Sooners 6-8, 6-8, 6-8 across that front line. And that one goes down nicely for Damon Patterson, the number one scorer in the Big 8. Boy, Jay, a red shirt last year. He's really come back. Usually they suffer a little bit getting back into the swing of the game, but he has really picked it up strong. Mikuli got it batted away. Patterson returning up court for the Sooners, and a foul called on Patterson on the charge. It's his first. And that is the second team foul against Oklahoma. 
Looking at Fred Hoiberg, one of the fine freshmen in the Big 8 Conference this year. Starting for Iowa State, he's a hometown kid. Uh, played his basketball in Ames High School. Was Mr. Basketball in the state of Iowa. He's been off to a good start for the Cyclones. Hoiberg number 32. The blonde youngster, they say he plays not like a freshman, but with much more maturity. That was Howard Eaton pumping it through. Eaton, the junior from West Helena, Arkansas. Right back comes Brent Price. Well, the Sooners really challenged him. They're beating Iowa State back, and they picked up two or three easy buckets so far here in early going. Cyclone's going to have to react and get back quick on defense. Big Ben driving against Price. Patterson again with a rebound. Eight rebounds already for Oklahoma. Four for Iowa State. Patterson. Patterson doing a nice job. A young man from Kalamazoo, Michigan has eight points. A long one from Bayless. Mikalik. Mikalik has his first basket. And the lead is seven for Oklahoma. 13.50 to play in the first half. Again, Jay, I think they get the tip in by Mikalik, but not showing the patience on their offense. They're shooting the ball after about one or two passes. Brent Price doing a nice job stopping and getting that one to go down from about five feet. Well, he's the number four scorer in the conference. Brent Price, he's averaging just a little over 20. Comes off a poor game for him, only four points against Mass. Mikalik is fouled. It'll be charged to Salier. It is his first and team foul number three against Oklahoma. Watch. Mikalik taking Salier on the drive, and he gets hit, gets away from it, and then Mikalik forces it between the two defenders for Oklahoma, and they whistle it on Salier. Mika Lake, Julius at 6'11", 215 from Czechoslovakia. 77% free throw shooter. Three points for Mika Lake. So he played with the Czech national team, made the swing here in the United States, uh, played down at the University of Iowa, had a good game there, and against Kansas State, I think it was at Kansas State that he had 26 points on that turf. And 23 against Loyola Chicago. Oklahoma's lead is seven. Cyclones coming with the trap. Good job by Evans of finding Patterson deep in the corner. Evans driving in there. Skip McCoy in the game now for Iowa State number five. And a foul called underneath on Webster. It's his first and team foul number four against the Sooners. Skip McC McCoy that just come in for Iowa State's inserted a lot of times to provide a spark. He'll come in, he's got good quickness, he'll harass on defense, make something happen. Also into the game, Brian Pearson, number three for Iowa State. Oh, we have Cyclones run those cutters off the high post. The old days used to call that the old shuffle cut. Make a leak from outside, it's over the hoop, and back comes Brent Price. Well, we talked about Mikulik being a good shooter. He didn't show it there, but he is, in fact, a good shooter from outside. Salier with the save underneath, way back out to Evans. <laughs> Foul called. A push against Brian Pearson. His first. And five team fouls. Our congratulations to Iowa State sophomore Ernie Lee, the Big 8 Conference Swimmer of the Month. Lee's a sophomore from Altadena, California, already qualified for the NCAA championship meet. He won the 50 freestyle. Member of the first three relay teams for Trip Hedrick's Cyclones at the Minnesota Invitational. Nice going for Ernie Lee. Well, Gary, what happened here on this last play underneath? Well, watch Evans. He spins, dribbles on McCoy. McCoy loses his balance. Now he gives him an up fake. McCoy goes up. And now he doesn't quite get into the act of shooting quick enough, and they're going to call that foul down on the floor. Number Evans did make the basket after he went up. Number one on McCoy. 16 fouls against the Cyclones. 
Good pressure. See McCoy, we talk, makes things happen, and there's a turnover. A lot of pressure on Evans by McCoy. Eaton coming away with the steal. Pearson in underneath. Eaton wouldn't go. Well, I think Webster. Salye, and he lost it out of bounds. You know, Webster got a piece of that, Jay, I'm sure. He must have. He came out of nowhere. Gary, this is very, very quick action here. Yeah, there's some quick players on the floor. Here's nice pass inside. Here's Eaton. Here goes up. And again, I think Webster got a little piece of that basketball. Mikalik, the big man bringing it out. Number five is Skip McCoy. This is Hoiberg, the freshman. It won't go, and Price rebounds. There's a long pass to Patterson, and two more for Patterson. Boy, Cyclone's really getting beat back on defense. And Oklahoma now, I think, must have four easy layups off the transition game. Gary, we talked in the early moments about how important defense would be, and right now, as you mentioned, the Cyclones not doing a very good job. That's Mikali. He has six points, leading the Cyclones at this point. And that one by Jeff Webster along the lane. Webster has his first field goal, 21-12, Oklahoma. You get an idea why the Sooner Club averages 100 points a ball game, because <laughs> they could score in a hurry. The Sooners ranked number 20 in the CNN and USA poll. Eaton has it for Iowa State, and Eaton has half a dozen. And the lead back to seven as Price drives down against Pearson. Rebound Eaton. Eaton gets it up to Skip McCoy. Skip stops and pops. Tapped away by Pearson. McCoy misses. Mikalik misses. Eaton gets it. Mikalik, what action. Price stole it away, and there's a foul. Wow. This game is something right now, I'll tell you. <laughs> Bayless is going to return for Iowa State. They're going to get Brad Pippen into the game also, it looks like. That foul charged against Price is his first. Let's watch the action here. A little Skip McCoy keeps it alive. First, actually, Pearson. Then it's stripped by Webster. Meeklick picks it up. Price tries to sneak in from behind, and then he's finally called for the foul on the reach. More Big 8 action coming up right after this. Hey, sports fans, get a ticket to Bud Bowl 4, and you could win a million dollars cash. A million bucks? But you can't get that ticket just anywhere. Bud Bowl tickets? Huh? Bud Bowl tickets. Sorry. Bud Bowl tickets? Bud Bowl. Bud Bowl. Bud Bowl tickets. Think of your Bud ticket where you buy Budweiser, Bud Light, and Bud Dry Draft beer. And you just might be a winner. Hey, guys, is this the line for... You know, it's not that important. Never mind. Bud Bowl 4. This time it's for a million bucks. Corn growers. Rootworm protection has taken on a whole new shape. Introducing the lock and load closed handling system. The new, safer way to handle your insecticide. Each lock and load container opens automatically when attached to your planter lid. Just lock it on and it loads. It's fast, easy, and dust free. New lock and load. Available only at your Cyanamid Agri Center dealer. In making an artistic statement, one's personal aroma should do the talking. So I use Right Guard Sports Stick with maximum protection. A true artiste should be known for inspiration, not perspiration. Right Guard Sports Stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Travel arranged through Continental, proudly serving Big 8 country with daily departures from Denver to over 150 destinations. Continental, one airline can make a difference. Brad Pippett, number 45, into the contest now for the Cyclones. Ron Bayless has returned. Eaton out there with Thigpen and Mikalik, the five on the floor for Johnny Orr. Thigpen off to Pippett. They're rather Oklahoma in the zone now, and you see uh, Iowa State drop down. They've got two on the perimeter. And Eaton's shot goes down. Eaton has eight points. He's leading the Iowa State scoring. And he's been a key for them a lot of times this year. When he gets off to a good start, the Cyclones normally have a good ball game. Iowa State hitting 7 of 21 from the field. 
Salier missing. Eaton comes out of there again. Big pin. Off it goes. Pivot puts it up. Well, they've got numbers here. Three on one. Patterson to Price. And charge. They'll wave off the basket. The foul is charged to Patterson. It is his second. Watch his action here now. They got three on one. They got Patterson in the middle. He gives it off. He tries to pull up here, but his momentum, Bayless gambles like Evans did on the other end for Oklahoma and takes the passer and gets the offensive foul. Patterson was trying to hold up, could not stop in time. Four turnovers for Oklahoma. Eaton from three-point range. Patterson again with a rebound. Off to Evans. Down to Price. And a foul as Webster put it up. Foul charge to Mikalik. That is the seventh team foul. Sooners really running the floor well right now. Webster hustling down there was able to beat Mikalik just enough where he had an advantage to get the pass. Bryant Van, number 33, a real hustler into the game now for Oklahoma. And coming in for Iowa State's going to be number 22, Sean Jackson. Jackson from Chicago, Illinois. Raycom, pleased to welcome those viewers joining us on the Prime Network and the nationwide family of Prime's regional sports cable networks. Howard Eaton sits down on Johnny Orr's bench across the way, and here is Webster. Webster out of Midwest City, Oklahoma, as you look at Coach Orr. Graduate of Beloit, Wisconsin. Played in the NBA at one time. Webster now with 10 straight free throws, a string going for him. Webster with four points. The lead is 23-16 Oklahoma, 9-15 to go in this first half. An excellent action. These two teams came to play today. Driving through. Scoring nicely was Sean Jackson. And Jackson only averaging four minutes of playing time. In the last couple of games off the bench, he's played pretty well. Magnificent move by Patterson. Patterson now with 10. Well, I think, that, Jay, I think that was Jeff Webster, number oh, 32. Me, it that was Webster. Point. We've talked about him. He averaged 18 points a game last year, averaging 14 this year. People sometimes say, what's wrong? He's the law. He's taken eight less shots this year compared to, to last year. Traveling call against Webster. Webster now has six points. The turnovers, Oklahoma five, Iowa State four. Watch his action again. Oklahoma coming out quick. Here's Price with it. Down the middle, a bounce pass. Webster comes in, takes the steps right there. Official Bill Westbrook's right on the call. Bayless bringing it up. Ball tipped away and stolen. Nice, nice play there by Evans. Good job by Evans. When he made the steal, he was looking constantly as he came down court to find a man on the break. Couldn't find it, waved it off, come back, set up, and then get in the offense. Fan from far out. Rebound by Thigpen. Thigpen takes one. He's had some tough shooting luck in this first half. The difference so far in the running games is Oklahoma, for the most part, has been able to get back and force Iowa State out with the outside shot. Oklahoma's had a lot of layups off their transition game. Price. Oh, it's a three for Price. Derek Gallion is in the game now, four, 34 for Oklahoma. Comes out of Mississippi, Mississippi Gulf Coast Junior College. Price Wait. now has seven points, Gary, and he's heating up. Well, it's a good offensive basketball team, the Sooners. He said score a lot of points, and they got a lot of shooters. Mika League. That's the one place that Iowa State has advantage size-wise. Mika League 6'11", going over the top. Eight points for Julius Mika League. Bryce getting it into Webster. And Jackson, a piece of that ball right there. That's Webster's favorite shot, that turnaround jumper on the baseline. Jackson got the rebound. Big bad to Pippet. He's driving. Ball batted away. Fine play in there. Play made by number 34, Galleon. Hoiberg will come back for Iowa State. And we're going to see Angelo Hamilton come into the game also. Right now, though, a timeout. 
And we'll be back after this message from your local Phillips 66 dealer. If you want an unleaded gasoline with a bit more octane than regular, but not all the way to premium, we'd like to get a few words in. Super Clean Unleaded Plus from Phillips 66. Thousands of pounds of steel go into the construction of an automobile. You, on the other hand, are a lot more fragile. So please drive carefully, because when we say come back, we mean it. The reinvention of the Ford Escort added a new level of design and performance to small cars. And now, we've added a new, more sophisticated Ford Escort. Introducing the new four-door Ford Escort LX sedan. A car designed to offer exceptional value and quality, and even the power of the GT, but with a style all its own. Have you wanted a style all your own? Have you driven a Ford lately? In making an artistic statement, one's personal aroma shouldn't do the talking. So I use Right Guard Sport Stick with maximum protection. A true artiste should be known for inspiration, not perspiration. Right Guard Sport Stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. Playing major college basketball is a dream come true. But life goes on after you've hung up the sneakers. Make your dreams come true with a quality education. Phillips 66 joins Big 8 Conference Universities in recognizing academic excellence among Big 8 student athletes. Oklahoma leading at 28 to 20. The Cyclones have won nine in a row in this building. The beautiful Hilton Coliseum. Oklahoma three times in the last five seasons. Got off the 10 and 0 starts. Our only loss last Saturday evening at Massachusetts. 86 to 73. That field goal percentage shooting tells the difference right now. Oklahoma 57 percent to Iowa State's 33. Oklahoma definitely getting the easier shots. That foul charged on Derek Allian. Stay tuned for halftime and Gary Thompson and I'll give you this week's Norwegian Cruise Line trivia contest question. Don't forget to have paper and pencil ready. On the line, Sean Jackson. Jackson, a sophomore out of Dunbar High in Chicago. As he goes to the line, Oklahoma drops two people way back in the other end. Galleon getting the rebound. Galleon and Price on the court now with Salier. Price, who leads, excuse me, Jay, Price leads the big eight and steals and assists. The Sooners have a number leader. the number one scorer, the number one rebounder. And here is a steal. Thigpen taking away from Galleon. Also getting a look at Angelo Hamilton on the court now, number 35 for Oklahoma. Iowa State themselves on the way to setting the season record for steals. They're averaging about 14 a game so far. Hoiberg's oh. shot is batted back. Here comes Price. Well, and Galleon is a shot blocker. That's his biggest asset when he comes in. Bryant Van scores. The junior from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, came out of Putnam City. He has two points now, and it's 30 to 20. The lead is 10. And Van also by way of Bacon Junior College. Boy, they're just wild away. away. Rejecting the shot from Bayless. Back comes Price. Price handing it off, and the shot goes down for Angelo Hamilton. Price, a good change of pace dribble, got Thickman to pull up. Then he went on him. He couldn't beat him. And Price had the strength to hang on the ball as Thickpin uh, got a piece of it and then went underneath, floated underneath, and made the little pass off for the bucket. Gary, right now, the Sooners out quicking the Cyclones. Well, and blocking shots. And again, I think Iowa State has not had the patience on their offense to run it. Mikalik going in, fouled by Salier. Salier's second. Pearson is going to come back in for Iowa State. So is Skip McCoy. Here's Mikalik. He's been the one guy that's been the most effective player. He's the 6'11 kid. Here he takes it on the drive. Boy, Salier right there. He must have got him maybe with a hand down low on the body because it looked like he had all ball in that right hand. Evans back in the Oklahoma lineup. Brent Price sitting it out. There's Terry Evans, number three. Mikalik at the strike. 
Iowa State as a team shooting 69.9 at the free throw line. Oklahoma 68.7. There you see the stats on Mikalik. Mikalik with nine points. The lead is 11 for the Sooners. 5.20 to play first half. There's McCoy again. We're talking about he'll be all over the man he's covering. He gets up tight on Evans. Really gets right up in the jersey. It almost caused Evans to walk. The Iowa State crowd wanted to walk. Talked about Van being a hustler. He plays all out. Tapped up by Salye. It wouldn't go. Lost by Mikali. And a held ball. And the possession will go in favor of Oklahoma. Coach Orr, assistant John Erickson once at Wisconsin. Now Mr. Erickson, of course, in charge of the officials in the Big 8 Conference. Half-court game, Iowa State's done a pretty good job of keeping the ball from going inside and on the lobs. Foul is on Jackson. It's his first. Watch this play again. Here's Terry Evans. So McCoy gives him a little move, gets by with the pick, and he gets Jackson up in the air, and then he just flips it up there to draw the two free throws. Smart play by Evans this time. He got in the act. Time before when McCoy was on him, he sat too long, and they called the floor or the foul down on the floor. Evans out of Millwood High in Oklahoma City, an all Big Eight academic selection the last two years, missing that free throw. Jackson getting the rebound. When Evans, the number one free thrower in the Big A Conference, averaging just a little over 90%, 28 out of 31 coming into today's game. Foul on Evans. Evans committing his second personal. One and one in effect for both clubs. Skip McCoy. Gary, Indiana, came out of Bishop Knoll High School. There's Billy Tubbs, born in St. Louis, grew up in Tulsa. Coach Tubbs, what a job he's done at Oklahoma. Galleon is fouled by Sean Jackson. Gary, they're watching that stuff inside a little closer this year. I think you and I had chatted about yep. that possibility. Jackson commits his second personal. Well, the inside play, the, the big men inside, they're trying to uh, put an emphasis on cleaning up the inside play. And so far, what I'm hearing from Big 8 coaches at the Big 8 officials in the games that, they, that they've had Big 8 officials, they've been doing exactly that. Galleon on the line out of Lake Charles, Louisiana, hitting the free throw. He's a 59% free throw shooter. Patterson is going to come in and we're going to see Eaton return and we're going to get our first look at number 53 Pearl Beecham Beecham is a freshman out of North High in Des Moines one of the three Iowa recruits that Johnny Orr landed this past year an all-stater as you said out of Des Moines North lane violation against Iowa State we'll do it again 428 remaining in this first half and the Sooners can go up by 13 with his free throw. Rebound Mikalik. A good job by Mikalik there keeping the ball up high. He saw uh, Terry Evans sneak in there and going to try and uh, swipe it down low but he kept it up high away from him. This is Beecham, the man from Des Moines we told you about. Eaton, back out to Beecham. Mikalik, the Beecham, three-pointer. Ball belongs to Iowa State. The partisans here wanted to call against Evans on a foul. They didn't get it. We have 4.03 remaining in this first half. Galleon goes out of the lineup. Watch a shot come off here now, but beats him. And you see, actually, Evans looks like he was rooting out McCoy, but ball did go off uh, McCoy's hand. 
Patterson and Webster, Evans, Salier, and Hamilton on the court right now. Salier's shot wouldn't go. Patterson gets it back. Rebound outside to McCoy. McCoy on the run. McCoy shovels it off. Basket won't count. They wave it off. They're going to have a blocking foul. It'll that's, be on Evans, I believe. And that's a big one for him. That'll be his third. McCoy really makes this play because he forces the action. Watch him come down here. He beats the defenders, forces a, a two-on-one, and then Evans right there. He tries to avoid him, and Evans gets him with just a little hip. They waved off Beecham's bucket. The offensive foul. Brent Price returning to the lineup. Evans going out for Billy Tubbs. And McCoy averaging 4.3, shooting 84.6 at the line. The two free throws with 335 remaining in this first half give Oklahoma the 10-point advantage. The Sooners 33, Iowa State 23, more in a moment. Always exciting, always something new. Always an adventure, always something to do. Always entertaining, always something to see. Always on the money, Las Vegas, always on the money, Las Vegas. When you play the game and you're looking good, there's a fun light way and it's understood. If you're into looking good, get into Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up, never let you down. You can taste it, feel it, know you got it right. Cause everything else, it's just a light. It's just a light. Bud Light. It's just a light. It's just a light. Just a light. New business needs demand new thinking. Sharp thinking about business. The Master Series Copier Duplicator. Sharp's most advanced high-speed copying system. So productive it can copy, collate, and finish complex documents with ease. Sharp thinking. It's built into all Sharp copiers, and it's made Sharp number one in customer satisfaction. Sharp thinking. The Master Series Copier Duplicator from Sharp. At Imaging Technologies, we mean business. After this action here in Ames, we'll be switching out to Boulder, Colorado. Coming up next, Nebraska, Colorado, Dave Armstrong and Irv Brown with the call. Price and Hamilton, Salier, Patterson, and Webster on the court for Oklahoma. Patterson, uh, Hamilton losing it in there. Try to get a pass across the court to Patterson. Salier with the steal, and now he loses it. Looked the way the Cyclones and that defensive Dan came out in a 2-2-1 press, got the turnover, and then Salier reciprocated. It looked like he looked the way to see what was happening at court and lost the handle on the ball. Outside shooting, you see there, not effective. Eaton, McCoy, Mikalik, Pearson, and Beecham on the court for the Cyclones. Iowa State likes to run those cutters off the high post. Mikalik fires. Oh, the big guy can shoot from outside. Well, the first time he didn't look like it, but we said he can shoot. He's now 9 out of 19 from the three-point stripe this year, so that's something like 46% uh, probably. Iowa State back within eight. Students are away, of course, on the break. I think they gave him a two on that. They did give him a two. It's 33 25. And now a foul. Charge to Skip McCoy. Watch action. Price trying to break down McCoy here. Crossover dribble gets him. McCoy chests him. He comes through, and, and that's where the foul was called on Skip McCoy. Coach Orr. 
three years at the University of Massachusetts. And of course, he had those great years at Michigan before coming here. Billy Tubbs out of Lamar. Price led the Big Eight in steals last season. He's leading again in steals this year, also leading in assists. Two ten point game. Jay Price last year came within just a few assists and steals of becoming the fourth player in NCAA history to have 200 uh, assists and, uh, and 100 steals in a season. And that's quite a mark. He's on target, got a chance to maybe do it this year. Pearson tries the three. Rebound Price. Iowa State trying a number of things. You see, they have Eaton on the post now, and they pulled Mikalik the last couple possessions out to the wing. Webster in underneath. Patterson is there. He just happened to be in the right spot at the right time. Patterson now has a dozen. Well, Webster thought he was going to draw the foul. That's why he put up the off-balance shot. Wasn't there. That was the help defender coming on him, and it left Patterson wide open to jam it down. Minute and a half to play in this first half. Oklahoma's half-court defense is good. That was Beecham. Beecham, the freshman. He can shoot the ball outside, too. That's one of his strengths. And Salier now back out to Patterson. Iowa State crowd trying like heck right now to bring the Cyclones back in. Price up the middle. Oh, that quiets them. Price is feeling it this afternoon. He has 11. 39-28 Oklahoma by 11. The big difference so far in the game was early. Oklahoma was able to run and get the little ones, and they forced Iowa State for the most part into a half-court game. Beecham shot in and out. Salier rebounding. 45 seconds to play. That and the shooting, the perimeter shooting of Iowa State in this first half has not been good. They were at 33. The last report we had, they were at 30%. Sooners can run out the shot clock. They're just about even, aren't yep. they? Right on. And this is a smart play. And the key right here to me, particularly on the road, well, anytime, is not to take the shot too early. Make sure that Iowa State does not come down and get a basket and score or gain some momentum going in at the halftime. Shot clock almost matching the game clock here. Pass went underneath the Salier, batted away under there, and five seconds remaining. Under Billy Tubbs, the Sooners are seven and four in Big Eight openers, two and four on the road. They have won their last four Big Eight openers, though. Price, out it comes, taken away from Patterson by Eaton. Beecham hurls one off the glass. Heads up play for the freshman. It really was. Halftime at Hilton. Oklahoma, 39. Iowa State, 28. Back with our halftime report in a moment. Big 8 Conference Basketball is brought to you by Bud Light. By Ford. By Counter Lock and Load Closed Handling System. By Norwegian Cruise Line. And by True Value Hardware. Home fires can start in any room. So protect your home with the twin pack of First Alert Family Guard smoke detectors from True Value Hardware stores. Put one on every level of your home. Each alarm comes with a 9-volt battery and a 30-day low battery signal. Get the twin pack of First Alert Family Guard smoke detectors for just $9.77 while supplies last at True Value, the neighborhood hardware stores with national chain store buying power. Chug along. In fat suits and high heel shoes, the daily grind gives them all the blues. Don't work me over, I know what works good. Works While good. the best thing though is so misunderstood. Just give me what the doctor ordered. Pepper. Just what the doctor ordered. Just give me a Dr. Pepper, we want it. Whoa, just what the doctor ordered. The taste that fade to order. Ford designed a special truck for night people. 
So, of course, sports fans wanted one, too. Now, Ford introduces its new flair side for yet another side. Don't these people ever rest? The best never rest. With a full-size night, sport, and bold new flair side, Ford takes all kinds in style. More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. Corn growers, rootworm protection has taken on a whole new shape. Introducing the lock and load closed handling system. The new, safer way to handle your insecticide. Each lock and load container opens automatically when attached to your planter lid. Just lock it on and it loads. It's fast, easy, and dust free. New lock and load. Available only at your Cyanamid AgriCenter dealer. 39-28 here at halftime, and the quiet right now because there's a shooting contest going on with some of the fans over here. It was a good first half for Oklahoma, certainly. Well, they played really well. I thought uh, the difference in the ball game is that Oklahoma's half-court defense, one of the things we featured is kept Iowa State from getting in their cutting game and inside, except a little bit for Mika Lake. Iowa State could not shoot the ball from outside. They're shooting about 34% right now. That's something if the second half continues this way, they're going to have to really pick that up outside shooting up, Jake. Billy Tubbs' club had been a little tired. They played a lot of games. They've had a week off, and they've looked very, very good. We'll be back after this word from Silic 66, makers of super clean gasoline. Why does Phillips 66 put its gasoline through more performance tests than the industry standard? Performance. Phillips 66, the performance company. No matter how you figure it, credit is still the same price as cash at Phillips 66. The Performance Company. Picking up an unidentified ship, sir. Yeah? I hear music. People laughing. It sounds like a... Tango. Merengue. Norwegian Cruise Line. Mambo. Special fares are now available. I like that. Call your travel agent today. Let's get permission to come aboard, sir. We asked California artist Ed Lister to give us his impressions of the all-new 1992 Buick Skylark to capture the lyrical lines, the liquid flow, the dash of flair, and above all, the quality that makes this the Buick of its class. Did he capture Skylark? Decide for yourself. But one thing's for certain. Skylark is the Buick that will change a lot of impressions about Buick. Out of order. Stairs. Oh. oh. You know what I could use? A diet doctor. Pepper. Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. When you want one, there's no stopping the taste. With 100% Nutrisweet. Hey, help yourself! Now it's time for this week's Big 8 Conference Player of the Week, brought to you by Phillips 66, makers of high-quality, super-clean gasolines. This week's Phillips 66 Big 8 Conference Player of the Week, Kansas State sophomore forward, Askia Jones. He averaged over 29 points and eight rebounds a game over the holidays, shot 55% from the field, and totaled 88 points in three games. Congratulations to Askia Jones, this week's Phillips 66 Big 8 Conference Player of the Week. Before you use waxes and polishes to keep your new car clean, shouldn't you start here first? High detergent super clean gasolines from Phillips 66, the performance company. Okay, come on, boy. That's it. Let's go for a ride. Come on. In you go. Best friends don't okay. let friends drink and drive. No, I'm fine. And they certainly don't ride with a friend who does. 
This week's Phillips 66 classroom champion is Iowa State wide receiver Matt Rouse, a junior majoring in chemical engineering, an academic all Big 8 honorable mention for the past two years. He carries a 3.93 grade point average. Phillips 66 is proud to salute athletes who excel in the classroom as well as athletics. Each week we honor a women's player of the week around the Big 8. This week it's a freshman, Sherry Black of Oklahoma. Big 8 Conference Women's Player of the Week for leading the Sooners through three straight wins, averaging nearly 19 points per game. Congratulations to Sherry Black, this week's Big 8 Conference Women's Player of the Week. We'll be back after these words from our local stations. This is the Raycom Network. What Iowa winter? Warm up with a hot sub from Subway. Choose from three hot sandwiches, steak and cheese, meatball, and barbecue. Buy three hot ones and get a hot sun visor just in time for the winter sun. It's hot. They're hot, hot, hot. You want hot? Register at Subway for a free Caribbean crew. Now that's hot. Hot visor, hot getaway, and three hot subs from Subway. What Iowa winter? Hot, hot, hot. Real hot. Contact herbicides only work for one day, the day you spray. But weeds can come back, so check out Banvel, the only post-emerge, no atrazine alternative that works from day one. Spray it at spike for residual control of the toughest broad leaves all the way to canopy with no second flushes. So don't settle for one day control. Get control from day one with Banvel. Cadillac announces two new ways to bolster your economy. Buy now and you'll receive a $1,500 cash bonus direct from Cadillac with any new 92 DeVille, Fleetwood, or Brougham. Or if you prefer, special smart lease terms are also available. But like any smart investment, timing is everything. And with a $1,500 cash bonus direct from Cadillac, the time to bolster your economy is now. Rod Bottle, keeping you in touch. That's kind of tough to say. Well, what do ISU students do for fun? It's hard to describe. Well, what do Iowa State students do when they graduate? They get jobs. Any more questions? No more questions. Action packed. Exciting basketball. Then you want the Big A Conference. Now it's time for this week's Norwegian Cruise Line Big 8 Trivia Contest. And our question this week, the 1957 Division I men's basketball All-America team included Will Chamberlain of Kansas, Chet Forty of Columbia, Elgin Baylor of Seattle, and Lenny Rosenbluth of North Carolina, and this former Iowa State standout. Name him. Write your answer and send it on a postcard to this address. A winner will be drawn at random from all correct answers received by January 17th and be awarded an exciting cruise for two on Norwegian Cruise Lines. A reminder, you must be 18 or older to be eligible to win a cruise. We'll be announcing the name of our lucky winners and the correct answers to the Norwegian Cruise Line Trivia Contest each week at halftime, so be sure to join us. It's Oklahoma leading by 11 at halftime, and let's take a look at some first-half action brought to you by Counter Insecticides. When we look at the halftime highlights, you see Mikulik out here. We said he could shoot it. Comes back. He goes to the wing, shoots the three-pointer, and then Oklahoma here. Beecham bangs into Webster. He thinks he's going to get the two free throws. Doesn't get the call, but Damon Patterson freed up to knock it down for two of his 12 halftime points. And now a look at today's Gillette right guard halftime statistics. One of the things uh, Jay has sticks out here, we talked about field goal shooting, 52% for Oklahoma, 34% for Iowa State. Rebounding, Iowa State is hung in there pretty good, particularly in the offensive end. The Sooners with only what we've got is five uh, offensive rebounds at half. 
A reminder that the Raycom Network will be televising the Naismith Award Ceremony this April over many of these Raycom stations. The award given annually to the nation's top college basketball player. This year's candidates, including Byron Houston of Oklahoma State, Damon Patterson of Oklahoma, Christian Leitner of Duke, and Alonzo Mourning of Georgetown. Now, a look at the previous Naismith Award winner. That's Naismith Award winners. Southern Cal's Cheryl Miller rewrote the record book for women's college basketball. Most points, most rebounds, and most steals in a game, season, and career. Maybe that was to be expected of the only person to score 105 points in a high school game. But whatever the expectation, Cheryl delivered. Cheryl Miller, the only woman to win the Naismith Award three times, 1984, 85, and 86. If you're into looking good, get into Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up, never let you down. You can't taste it, feel it, know you got it right. Cause everything else is just a light. Everything else is just a light. Everything else is just a light. Everything else. Long before Scotty Pippen was chosen for the USA basketball team. Hey, Pippen, Mark. Hey, that's Big Howard. Wanna play? Yeah. He had to prove himself here. He knew he could count on his friend, Ronnie Martin. Now, Scotty! AT&T salutes all of our Olympic hopefuls and everyone who helped them get this far. Hey, Scotty. Those guys at the Olympics gonna be tough. Why? Did they sign Big Harold? <laughs> <laughs> Gillette presents Sensor, the system, the technology that will change the way you shave forever. Sensor, twin blades set on springs to read your face and respond. Independent suspension to sense and adjust to every curve of your face. No other razor comes close. Gillette Sensor, for the best shave a man can get. After making it on Broadway, it, some huh? of the finest entertainers around go off Broadway. They appear on Norwegian Cruise Line. No other cruise line offers such entertainment. Norwegian Cruise Line, the best vacation you've ever had. Plus... Basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66, makers of top quality, super clean gasoline, celebrating 75 years of pride. And in part by Bush, Buick, Dr. Pepper, and True Value Hardware. The holidays are over and college basketball really heating up. Let's take a look at our college basketball scores from around the country on the Budweiser scoreboard. Duke leading Georgia Tech in the second half. And Minnesota up on that young Michigan team in the second half by seven. Tulsa and Drake, a dandy. The win for Tulsa by two in Des Moines this morning. And Memphis State, who got that big win over Missouri on Monday night. Uh, DePaul taking it on the chin right now to Memphis State. But Gary, the scoring leaders, Patterson up on top with 12 and Price with 11. Webster with six, Evans with four, and Hamilton got two late in that first half. The big story for Iowa State, you see Meek Leak with 11 and Eaton with 8 and down the line, is that Thigpen, Bayless, and Hoiberg, three starters, are 1 for 12 from the field in that first half. Thigpen having the lone field goal. I said that Missouri loss at Memphis State was last Monday night. It was actually last Tuesday night that they took it on the chin down there. I know you were there. Yeah. And, of course, right now it will be Iowa State who has a mountain to climb. And starting the second half for Johnny Orr's club will be Bayless, Eaton, Hoiberg, Thigpen, and Mikalik. Evans, Webster, Price, 
Patterson. And Hamilton. Let's see, is Hamilton in there? Oh, it's Evans. Here's Thickpen coming right out and firing. Evans gets the rebound. Salier is the other starter, and there is two from Webster. Beautiful pass on the inside, and again, Iowa State getting caught, not getting back or getting the heads turned. And I think also Iowa State coming out early, and uh, they just appear to be over-anxious for this game. They can't get done what they want to do. We watched their practice here yesterday, and they really uh, were very workmanlike, very businesslike. Johnny Orr told us he really likes the chemistry on this club. He said, I know we'll get great effort, but Oklahoma has been superb here, and here's a steal by Salier off to Evans. Meeklink was going to go behind his back and got it taken away, and there's the travel to Price. Ten turnovers now for Oklahoma. Iowa State only one win shy of equaling last year's win total. They were 12 and 9 last year, 11 and 2 coming into this action to open their Big 8 play against Oklahoma. Oklahoma now zoning a bit. You notice Oklahoma just drops back and waits for the cutters to come through. I think sometimes those cutters maybe going to have to stop off that high post and get the shot there and make Oklahoma play them honest. The foul is charged to Webster. It's his second first team foul of the second half. Iowa State, you see the Oklahoma kids will come back in the middle. There's Bayless, gets it, takes a dribble to get a rhythm, takes it away, pumps it away on the double pump right there and catches Webster for the foul. Bayless, number one in free throw shooting percentage in the Big 8. And 24 consecutive three throws, which is an Iowa State record. Jay, and since he did that, accomplished that, he missed six straight free throws. And now he's back with, a, with two straight. <laughs> Hard, Hard to, to figure, figure yeah. that's right. Here's the steal by Bayless. And now Iowa State on the run, and Price gets it back. It's a big eight steal leader right there. Takes it up and away and gets two. And that's a four-point play. Yep. 13 points now for Price. Oklahoma up by 13. 18.30 to play. Mikalik losing it. Another bad pass from Bayless. Patterson losing it to Hoiberg. The freshman comes away down to Thigpen. Good strip from behind by Hoiberg. Thigpen has had a tough day shooting. He oh. tapped it in. I think it'll go to Thigpen. It is Thigpen. They give it to him, and he has four points. Well, that is just killing Iowa State right there. Oklahoma getting down quick, behind the defense, and getting the easy layups, and that's why they shot. I think it was 52% uh, in the first half. Patterson now has 14 points. Mikalik drives in. And the foul on Salier, and he says, no, not me. <laughs> Salier's third, second team foul of the second half against the Sooners. And that's a good play for Mikalik. They get him on the wing on a cleared side. Watch it here. He comes around. Now they know he can shoot the ball. Salier overcommits going up, and then he takes it on the drive. Salier follows through, and he says, whoa, me? Iowa State, a big win here back on December 14th when they upended their in-state rivals, Iowa, 98-84. to Iowa State swept the games with Oklahoma last year in Big 8 play. Mikalik can cut it to 11. He does. 45-44, Oklahoma. Mikalik with 13. Always important part of the ball game right here coming out after the half so you can establish the, the ball game. Iowa State needs to fight back and close the gap. Sooners would like to take it away and extend that lead. 45-34, and Price adds three. Well, I tell you, he didn't wait. You notice that he caught it right in rhythm, and he wasn't thinking anything but going up for the shot. Price now with 16 points. Price was two for two in the first half from the three-point strike. Oklahoma's defense has been good on the uh, half court. They've forced him pretty much to the perimeter. There's a good drive by Hoiberg, and he breaks it down, and that's something he had have to do. Good job by the freshman. Foul charge to Salier is his fourth. 
In fact, his teammates on Hoiberg have been starting to call him Mr. Layup because that's all he's been getting. He's taking on drives. He's been passing up the outside shots. There he up fakes the guy, gets the advantage, takes in good concentration and good drive. When you're struggling from the outside shooting, that's not a bad avenue to go is try and take that ball to the hole in the drive. Derek Gallion returning for Oklahoma. Salier now will have to sit it out with four. Gallion, a junior from... Louisiana, as you mentioned, Gary went to Gulf Coast Community College. Three points now for Hoiberg. 48-37, the lead is 11 for Oklahoma. Evans guarded by Thigpen. Price loses it. And that is the 13th turnover against Oklahoma. Iowa State's committed nine, 16-44 remaining in this contest. Well, it certainly wasn't a forced turnover, but that's something Iowa State needs to get involved in the ball game is to force some turnovers to get back in this game. Eaton is fouled. His shot wouldn't go down. It'll be charged to Galleon. That is his second. Team foul number four against the Sooners here in this second half. And on the line, Howard Eaton. Hoiberg, here's the cut right there, and then Eaton comes back, spins back, and uh, pick up, uh, picks up the foul. And, and I like this right now at Iowa State, as I said, going to the basket a little bit more. They've been struggling from the outside in the perimeter. Eaton can cut it to nine. Eaton came out of Three Rivers Junior College, had a fine career there. Top rebounder missing there. Thigpen gets it back. It's little things like that that help you get back in the ball game. Hoiberg has not been shooting the ball well outside. He's a good shooter outside in high school. Uh, he's about two for 18 from the three-point line. Uh, Tennessee is right now for him to, to think about that outside shot and turn it down instead of just taking it in rhythm and keep putting the ball up. Beautiful pass. Mikalik to Hoiberg. What a fine assist. Five points for Hoiberg. And the lead is cut to eight. And this crowd is into it now. And we said Mikalik top of the show, a good passer. He has 32 assists coming to this game. Boy, and the crowd is really up now with the Cyclones. Evans going in, a foul called. The foul will go against Justice Thigpen. It is his second, only the first team foul called against Iowa State in the second half. 15-39 remaining in this Big 8 action. Oklahoma leads it by 8, 48-40. A lot of cars are taking aim at the imports these days. Well, one American car is very much on target. Buick, here's their latest hit, the all-new 1992 Skylark. Completely redesigned with more power and advanced features like standard anti-lock brakes. Skylark for 1992. It's got everything you've been looking for, plus the one thing only Buick can offer you, Buick quality. Gotta be kidding. Woo. What's in is out, what's out is in. So many trends make my poor head spin. Don't sell me good taste, but no I taste good. While the best things always so misunderstood. Just give me what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. Just give me a doctor pepper. We want it. Whoa. Just what the doctor ordered. The taste is made to order. What Iowa winner? Warm up with a hot sub from Subway. Choose from three hot sandwiches, steak and cheese, meatball, and barbecue. Buy three hot ones and get a hot sun visor just in time for the winter sun. It's hot. They're hot, hot, hot. You want hot? Register at Subway for a free Caribbean crew. Now that's hot. Hot visor, hot getaway, and three hot subs from Subway. What Iowa winner? Hot, hot, hot. Real hot. On Saturday, February 29th, in the Big 8 round robin play, Price inbounds to Evans. 
Into a shooting percentage in the second half. Iowa State is heated up, but Oklahoma hasn't missed. The one thing Oklahoma has done is they've turned it over five times here in the second half. How much is Oklahoma going to miss Salye? Gallion in there for him right now. Salye sitting it out. Evan shot blocked. Tremendous play. Big Pen blocked it. Mikali got it. Here is Eaton, and it's a charge on Eaton. And is Price okay? Is Eaton all right? Whoa. Jay, there was two great plays by the Cyclone starting out. The block by Thigpen and a tremendous save of the ball inbounds, and then a tremendous outlet pass by Mikulik, but Eaton doesn't finish it off. He has the advantage of people as we watch it right here. Start out with the whole thing. There's the block, jumps out, saves it. Mikulik looks down. Look at this great outlet pass. Now Eaton comes down. He has men in each lane, takes it straight in. Price is setting up right on him, and he gets the offensive foul. That should have been two points if you dish off. Got to give a lot of credit to Price. He knew what was going to happen. Patterson puts it up. Patterson gets it back. Underneath, Webster. Oh, excuse me, it was Gallion. Gallion. Good hands by Gallion right there. That was passed a little off the mark, and he saved it, recovered, and brought it back in and got it down, and the Sooners by 10 again. Here's Thigpen losing it out of bounds. Went out off his foot. 11 turnovers now for Iowa State. Oklahoma by 10 with 14.34 remaining. Johnny Orr on one end wanted the grab. Tubbs on the other end. Uh, he's satisfied and happy. Both these coaches in their 12th seasons in the Big 8. Foul charged against Bayless. Guarding Price. Price doing an excellent job here. Now Bayless commits his second personal. That's the third team foul against Iowa State in the second half and returning to the lineup Skip McCoy number five young man out of Gary Indiana Bayless to the bench Bayless a little frustrated today offensively as their guards are as we said they've had trouble scoring and getting shots and nice finishing it off oh, and missing, missing it was Webster here's Hoiberg Eaton takes it, and it won't go there. And a rebound, Gallion. Well, Gallion, we said, when he gets in the ball game, shot blocking in the boards, that's his strength. Price. Oh, what a shot. Land of the Giants, oh, and he did it. Whoa. 18 points for Brent Price this afternoon. The youngster from Enid, Oklahoma, who transferred back to Oklahoma from the University of South Carolina. Very durable, pure shooter, having himself a fine game. His dad, Denny, a former Oklahoma Sooner player and brother in the NBA. Right. Thigpen, yes! Just as Thigpen hits from deep. Well, they need some of that, Iowa State, to get back in the ball game. Thigpen is shooting just under 50% uh, from the three-point strike this year. That three-pointer for Thigpen, he has seven. Patterson's shot wouldn't go. Webster puts it up again and gets it. Iowa State pretty much in the first half controlled them on the offensive glass, although Oklahoma was shooting a high percentage. There wasn't that many, but now Oklahoma going strong to those offensive boards. I think you can see why they're the top rebounding team in the Big 8, Gary. They really get after it. 54-43, the Sooners. Big pin, nice move. Banked it off the glass. That was tremendous because he had the big guy stand there waiting right in front of him. I don't know how he got it off. I was looking for the block. Justice Thigpen with nine. He's in trouble. Out to Webster. Rebound Thigpen. Iowa State trying to get back in it here at home at Hilton Coliseum. Hoiberg motioning for McCoy to take it out and set it back up and now they'll run the cuts off at high post there's one Here comes the second wingman Hoiberg doing a good job that time because he's been waiting on the the cuts down low he stopped and wanted the ball they just didn't get it to him Thigpen got the rebound got the shot off Eaton with the rebound and a charging call against him and he has four. Oh, he's the first cyclone to have four Salier's been sitting it out for Oklahoma with four. And Eaton, their leading rebounder and uh, strong defensive player. Let's see, he gets the offensive rebound here. And goes in. Uh, I, I think, uh, is that Galleon? I think he did a pretty good job of acting that time. It wasn't that big of a hit. 
Lauren Meyer will come into the ball game as soon as possible to replace him. Price again. And tapped up by Patterson. It wouldn't go. Hoiberg on the run in the lane. McCoy, they lose it. And Meyer, the freshman from Ruthven, Iowa, out of Ayrshire High School. Number 41 will be coming in. Right now, we'll say we'll be back after this message from Phillips 66, the performance company. No matter how you figure it, credit is still the same price as cash at Phillips 66, the performance company. 66 blends its super clean gasoline for every season. So when the weather changes, your car's performance won't. Phillips 66, the performance company. In trying to make an artistic statement, one should be careful not to let one's personal aroma do the talking. In order not to offend the critics, I recommend Right Guard Sports Stick. It provides maximum protection and the freshest scents a sublime palette of odoriferous emanations. After all, a true artiste should be remembered for his inspiration, not his perspiration. Right guard sports stick. Anything less would be uncivilized. What does it take to be a mountain man? Let's see. A mountain man must be fearless, sure-footed, willing to answer the call of the wild. But most of all, a mountain man should be thirsty for a smooth bush beer or an easy drinking bush light. So, head for the mountains and see if you have what it takes to be a real mountain man. Man. Look at this final. Minnesota upends Michigan. And of course, Iowa State's coming off a 76-73 win at Minnesota. And then that 92-69 win here at Hilton against Loyola Chicago the other night. And Michigan taking on Minnesota after they were thrashed by Indiana. And that's not a good situation to go into. Well, I said it's that time of the year. Here we go. <laughs> Conference play underway. Good ball Price. movement there. Three-pointer won't go. Patterson taps. Rebound taken down by Mikalik. One-on-one. -on -one. In the game, as we mentioned now, Lauren Meyer. Meyer is number 41. He has the ball right there, hands it back to McCoy. And Meyer follows it up. Meyer came out of nowhere. Big basket. Well, the big guy has been playing well off the bench. The last four ball games, he's come off, and he's got 19 points. He's averaging six for the year and a little over three rebounds, so he's pretty effective for the amount of minutes he's been playing. Oklahoma lead cut to seven. Patterson back out to Evans. Iowa State doing a good job of fighting back. Price missing. Now he can be streaky. There haven't been. Big save by Price along the line to Evans. He comes right back. Whoa. Three pointer for Brent Price that quiets this crowd. Haven't been locating him uh, real well. He's had a lot of shots or he's open. Price now the leading scorer in the game with 21. Hoiberg drives in, and a charge against Hoiberg. Well, we've had that kind of action in the lanes, a lot of charges, and Hoiberg's first personal foul. Hoiberg scored, uh, did not score in the first half, and has five here in the second. Fifteen foul against Iowa State. Four team fouls against Oklahoma. Congratulations to the Oklahoma football team and head coach Gary Gibbs. Their win over Virginia in the Gator Bowl, 48 to 14. Sophomore quarterback Gail Gundy voted the MVP of the Gator Bowl. And this shot going down for Derek Gallion. Gallion has five points. Gallion shooting about 61% on the year. Mika Leak. It wouldn't go, and Patterson is there for Oklahoma. Nine and a half to play. Price, nice move. And what a show he is putting on here this afternoon. 
23 points for Price. See, that's one of the plays I always talk about. When a guy's got you in the shots right there, if you fake up at him and stay down, normally you'll recover because he's got the shot anyhow. Price is high, 31 against Morgan State this year, 56 against Loyola Marymount last season. It's 61-47. Now, this from your local Phillips 66 dealer. If you want an unleaded gasoline with a bit more octane than regular, but not all the way to premium, we'd like to get a few words in. Super Clean Unleaded Plus from Phillips 66. Why does Phillips 66 put its gasoline through more performance tests than the industry standard? Performance. Phillips 66, the performance company. You'd rather walk than drive an American car. You think no American car can match the quality of an import. You figure if it isn't foreign, it isn't for you. You wouldn't give an American car the time of day. Well, in case you haven't noticed, times have changed. Introducing the new Skylark. This is the Buick that's going to change a lot of impressions about Buick. Identified ship, sir. Yeah? I hear music. People laughing. Sounds like a tango man. Merengue. Norwegian Cruise Line. Mambo. Special fares are now available. I like that. Call your travel agent today. Wow. Let's get permission to come aboard, sir. Johnny Orr, the head man of the Cyclones. Alongside there, Jim Hallahan. Iowa State down 61 to 47. They were within seven at 10.53. We're now at 9.05, so Oklahoma really turned the tide in a fast pace period of time. Meyer turns, he's fouled by Webster. Lauren Meyer will go to the free throw line. Webster's third personal. Look at this. That's unbelievable. That is an unbelievable score right there. Notre Dame got a win out on the West Coast at USC, and then they defeat Dean Smith's very talented North Carolina club. Wow. You know, I've got to believe uh, mental attitude plays a lot in this, in this game of basketball. I'm told by our producer Mel Crippen that Notre Dame was never behind in that game. My. Lauren Meyer missing this one. One scouting service had him uh, listed as in the top five centers in the country last year. Averaged 40 points a ball game in high school. The Tough move shot. by Patterson. Mikalik with the rebound off to Thigpen. The Sooners got a lead, but I'm sure Billy Tubbs would like a better uh, shot than that, even though they're up by 13 right now. A little turnaround jumper by Bayless. He's fouled. The foul is on Brent Price. It is his second. Six team fouls against Oklahoma in the second half. You know, uh, Den or, uh, I want to call him Denny because I played with his dad at Philip 66. <laughs> but Brent right there knew right away that he shouldn't foul. You've got a guy, Bayless, who's been struggling shooting today. And so you want to make him shoot it down, keep the pressure on him, not send him to the line where he's an excellent free throw shooter. Bayless has four points. The lead is 11. Evans bringing it back, guarded by Thigpen. Price, very rough in the lanes. A lot of fouling and pushing, and now a call against the freshman, Fred Hoiberg. Iowa State's going to get Brad Pippett back into the game. 16 fouls against the Cyclones. Hoiberg goes out, and Pippett back in. Pippett from Des Moines, Lincoln. A great football and track star in high school here. And Ron Bayless covering up on uh, Price. Iowa State has had trouble locating him uh, today, particularly in his second half. Bayless probably their best defender outside. Patterson's shot won't go. 
Big pen finally comes away with it. And it's a three for Ron Bayless. Iowa State's been struggling so much. Amazing thing, they're only eight down in this ball game. The crowd again trying to bring them back. They just need a couple of positive things to happen. Webster is fouled by Lauren Meyer. Jay, this is one of the things that uh, Lauren Meyer as a freshman has to learn. He goes over there, he's got good position. He plays good help defense, and then he just chops down at the guy and picks up the foul. We'll take a look at it here. Here's over the top pass with they talked about defending, and he has him, but now he just comes in there and chops. He really doesn't have a chance to get a steal on the ball, and now you send Oklahoma to the line. Webster, 84.8% free throw shooter. Number two frost scorer in the history of Oklahoma behind Wayman Tisdale. Big eight newcomer of the year last year. Outstanding performance. Ten point lead. Webster has 12 points. Seven and a half to play. Oklahoma has done a good job. Galleon's done a good job with Salier sitting it out. Spinning his way for two. Thigpen, and Thigpen now with 11. Yeah, he's come back with a good second half offensively. Only had two at the, at the halfway mark. Steele, Pippet, and he wisely holds up and waits for his mates to come down with seven minutes to play. Underneath, Thigpen, yes! Boy, a good pass by Mikulik again, and a good job by Thigpen of getting his body in front of the defender beating him. And the Cyclones are right back in this ball game. They've been fighting back hard. Big Ben has 13. I see Salier getting up uh, off the bench now for Oklahoma, and he's going to be reporting in. Been sitting out with some foul trouble. Patterson in under. Blocked by Meyer. Meyer then throws it away. Meyer did a fine job of blocking that shot. And threw it away, trying to get it to the near side to Bayless. Salier will return for Oklahoma. Gallion coming out. He did an excellent job. Good play by the big freshman that time on the help and staying away, going underneath, getting the block. And then just a little anxious, and there's a turnover in the travel. Damon Patterson walks. The turnovers are even at 15 apiece. 6.27 remaining. 63-57 Oklahoma. Hey, this could be a big possession for Iowa State right now. If they score here, the pressure is really going to tip over hard on Oklahoma. Boy, and there it is. A three by Ron Bayless. And the Cyclones have stormed back here. Bayless has 10. Thought Tubbs might look at a timeout. He's a couple minutes away from the TV timeout. Price's layup wouldn't go in. Pippett saves it. Mikalik down to Bayless. Bayless losing it to Salier. Boy, Taken Thigpen away by right Thigpen. Away. Thigpen's jumper wouldn't go. Thigpen gets it back, takes it in there, won't go again. What action. Here's Price back the other way for Oklahoma with 5.40 to go. And a foul charged against Mikalik as he banged into Patterson. Jay, the intensity level for Iowa State has really picked up here in the last five or six minutes. They're playing like they played all year long, and they've got themselves back in the ballgame. Eaton, number 43, will return for the Cyclones. Meyer will come out. He gets a nice hand. Coming up next, Nebraska and Colorado. Dave Armstrong and Irv Brown on hand out in Boulder to bring you that action. But what action we have had here. Patterson at the line. He has 14 points. Patterson, a 71.9% free throw shooter. Sat out last season, of course, because of the academic problems. Leading score in the conference, 25 plus. He hits that one. Billy Tubbs, his club. Led by as many as 12 on a couple of occasions. Think Penn returns. Five and a half to play. Boy, and it's Oklahoma now. I don't know if they're a little tired or what, but they're not getting back. They're having the same problem that Iowa State had earlier. And the cycle. Oh, there's an over-anxious foul. Think Penn reaches around and fouls Terry Evans. 
That's got to disappoint uh, Johnny Orr right there. You're coming back. You have to play smart. Keep up the pressure, but you don't want to commit a foul like that. Watch Thigpen. And he has really is... been playing hard. He reaches there, doesn't get it, comes around. There's the pivot, and then just kind of an over-the-top foul by Thigpen. And Third I'm sure right Thigpen. away he knew that he shouldn't have done what he did. But Evans has been held scoreless in the second half. Rebound, Pippet out to Thigpen. That's a good job by Thigpen. He was one on three. Brings it back out. Three-pointer wouldn't go. Pippet trying for the rebounder. It was Bayless missing from long range. And Oklahoma retains the two-point advantage. Five minutes to play. I think Oklahoma Patterson needs to, with a jumper. Yeah, I was going to say I think Oklahoma needs to look to go down inside for a little bit. Patterson with 17. The lead is four. Thigpen backing in against Price. Bayless. Pippet. Off to Eaton, who just came back in, and he banked it in there. Boy, he muscled that up again. You know, Oklahoma blocked about four or five shots in a row in the first half, and again, I'm looking for the block. They're in good position, but Eaton finds a way to get it through the gaps. Uh, 11 points for Eaton. I Oklahoma was, by two. Cyclones have really battled back. John Moore's got to be pleased with this stretch of play now and, and mostly it's just getting their adrenaline up and really moving and, and playing quick which is their strength coach or told us yesterday he says I'll tell you one thing they'll play hard and they have against an extremely talented Oklahoma club Billy Tubbs really had his team ready this afternoon they came in here played very well look at the shot clock is down to two as Evans put it up and now a foul called underneath and there were a lot of people there. I don't know how they called it. We'll wait. I thought it was going to be on Webster. Let's see. And it is. It's blinking. The scoreboard yep. blinking on Webster. It is on Webster. Good penetration here. Evans comes up and around. Comes off. And there's uh, Webster over the top of Brad Pippett as Pippett goes down. And that's four on Webster. And back into the game will come Angelo Hamilton. Now uh, Evans is going out. Are you, now Hamilton is in there with Price, Patterson, Salier, and Webster. On the line, Brad Pippett, 60% free throw shooter. We talked about the intensity up for Iowa State and, and the bulk of it on the, on the defense. They're really scrapping and hustling and play in defense. Game was tied twice in the first half. We're tied at 66. What a comeback. How to live like a mountain man. A true mountain man lives a solitary life, living for nothing more than an honest day's work and the rugged companionship of his fellow mountain men. It's a full-time job, but it does have its rewards, like smooth bush beer and easy drinking bush light. So, head for the mountains. Because once a mountain man has his mountains, what more could he possibly want? Long before Scotty Pippen was chosen for the USA basketball team. Hey, Pippen, Mark. Oh, that's Big Howard. Wanna play? Yeah. He had to prove himself here. He knew he could count on his friend, Ronnie Martin. Now, Scotty. AT&T salutes all of our Olympic hopefuls and everyone who helped them get this far. Hey, Scotty. Those guys at the Olympics are going to be tough. Why? Did they sign Big Harold? <laughs> <laughs> This winter will be a lot easier to take when you have a Crosley Heat Force heater from True Value Hardware Stores. It delivers instant warmth with two heat settings or fan only, plus an automatic thermostat and safety tip-over switch. In January, get the Crosley Heat Force heater for just $24.99 while supplies last at True Value, the neighborhood hardware stores with national chain store buying power.
There's the score. Iowa State has never led. Gary, uh, who would you foul here in the final moments if it uh, needs to be a situation like that? Well, that's, uh, we're a ways away from that now, but here's some of the guys you're looking at. Hamilton's in the ball game, or I think just reported in. See the percentage there? That's the people you're looking at. Hamilton is not in the ball game right now. Pippett with a steal. Off the thick pen. Meekly. And Iowa State leads for the first time all afternoon. Boy, and their defense, which has carried them all year long, has turned it around right now. They're really doing the job. Price from 20. Rebounded away. Right. Howard Eaton getting that rebound. Three minutes left on the clock here at Hilton Coliseum. And this has been an industrial strength return for Iowa State here. <laughs> you know, one of the hard things is to fight back, overcome they get close, and they keep falling back, and they finally got over the hump. And now you want to take care of the ball, make sure you do not let up on your play, but make sure you get good shots and plays. Mikalik was blocked there, and the ball batted out. Here's Evans. Webster. Webster off the glass, 68 all. Game tied for the fourth time. Webster has 14. Price leading all scores with 23. Whistle in the lane. Foul charge to Evans of Oklahoma. That is his fourth. Well, we're pleased to welcome our friends joining us on the Prime Network and the nationwide family of Prime Regional Sports Cable Networks. And we sure hope you're enjoying this one. On the line, Ron Bayless started every game this season. Bayless out of Warren Central High in Indianapolis, Indiana, and then out of Kilgore, Texas Junior College, famous for their Rangerettes and their basketball. And here again, he's a guy when he penetrates, I try and make him shoot it in or get some help from the big guys on discouraging his shot because he's a great free throw shooter, even though we said he had missed six in a row coming to this game, but he's still shooting 80%, uh, over 80% for the year with those six misses in a row. Bayless has 12. Brad Pippett for Johnny Orr has come in and done a heck of a job. He really has. Deal and a couple of free throws. Webster missing. Ball goes out of bounds. It was touched last by Patterson. I think no. we might have this overruled. Yeah, they're going to overrule it. J.C. Leinbach comes in. And a good job by the officials because I think they got it right here. Let's watch it. There it comes off Bayless's arm right there. They try to chase it down. Bill Westrick might have been blocked out on that play. I can't tell for sure, but J.C. Leinbach got it right. A minute and 40 to play in regulation. Iowa State leads it by two. Price into Salye. Up to Webster, and he's fouled. Mikalik commits the foul against Webster. It is number three against Mikalik. Iowa State all afternoon long has done a pretty good job of that over-the-top pass. Salier, the junior, 17 times in double figures last season. Just the 56 percent. Oh, it's going to be Webster at the line. Excuse me. 84.8 percent free throw shooter. Webster puts it up. Webster went to Carl Albert High in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Had a lot of problems with bone spurs in the 89-90 season. 15 points for him. Timeout, 133 remaining. Iowa State leads over Oklahoma. 70 to 69. Back in just a moment. You'd rather walk than drive an American car. You think no American car can match the quality of an import. You figure if it isn't foreign, it isn't for you. You wouldn't give an American car the time of day. Well, in case you haven't noticed, times have changed. Introducing the new Skylark. This is the Buick that's going to change a lot of impressions about Buick. This is the bottom line. 
This is where all the decisions I made during the year pay off. There's one decision you know you can always count on. Counter insecticide. The choices I make early in the season need to be right. Test proved. Nothing protects your corn like counter for stronger, healthier roots that pay off in the highest possible yields. I've got too much at stake to take chances. Our roots run deep. Iowa State leading it. Gary, one of the factors here, Price was having a marvelous game rolling along with 23 points. But in the last four minutes, the Cyclones have seemed to shut him down. Well, in the last nine minutes, Jay, he had 23 points at about the 11-minute uh, mark, and he wow. hasn't scored during that time. And Ron Bayless came in, their best defender, and have been covering up on him. There's Hamilton on Thigpen. Oh, and Thigpen trying to dish it back out, and Thigpen down, trying to get back up. He is up and back up court. Really got kind of out of control there. Got up in the air, no place to go. Salier has not uh, been involved offensively in this ball game. Of course, he sat it out yeah. for a long time with four fouls in the second half. He said Bayless had been covering up on Price over this last uh, nine-minute period. Inside the minute mark now. Oklahoma needs to get a good shot if they want to make sure they get the ball back without fouling. And up it goes, and the shot hit by Damon Patterson, the key man. 19 points for Patterson. 71-70, the shot clock is off. A lot of this crowd standing. Yeah, this sweaty palm time oh. right now. Who almost a steal by Patterson. Almost losing it. Mikalik now. Mikalik taking it up. Didn't get it. Gets the rebound. Like scores. And he is fouled. Mikalik with a tremendous, continuous effort. It was a great job on his part of following. He got hung up with a tough shot, but his momentum going to the basket, and we'll see here why he's able to go right after it. Now he's stepping in, goes right after, tips it back to himself, takes it up strong, and catches the foul. And here's a big free throw coming up right now, too, because it determines what Oklahoma might want to do. Webster fouls out of the game with 16 seconds remaining and 15 points. I'd like to thank the representatives of these two schools. Oklahoma Athletic Director Donnie Duncan, Coach Billy Tubbs, and SID Mike Prasinski. Iowa State Athletic Director Max Urich. Coach Johnny Orr and Sports Information Director Dave Starr. And our thanks to our Big 8 Conference representative Penny Turner here today. This one going to the wire. And no matter what, this has had a little bit of everything, and you have to credit Oklahoma for really being ready to play here, and then for Iowa State coming back like they have. Johnny. And Mikalik, the man from Czechoslovakia, in the heat right now. Johnny Orr motioned for a timeout, I thought. Let's see, now he gets Oklahoma to put the freeze on, and I don't know that uh, Billy Tubbs wanted the timeout after all the delay. Oh, we have a timeout. 16 seconds remaining, Iowa State by one. Diet Dr. Pepper tastes more like regular Dr. Pepper. When you want one, there's no stopping the taste. Nutrisweet. Long before Scotty Pippen was chosen for the USA basketball team. Hey, Pippen, Mike. Oh, that's Big Howard. Want to play? Yeah. He had to prove himself here. He knew he could count on his friend, Ronnie Martin. Now, Scotty. AT&T salutes all of our Olympic hopefuls and everyone who helped them get this far. Hey, Scotty. Those guys at the Olympics going to be tough. Why? Did they sign Big Carol? <laughs> <laughs> State 72, Oklahoma 71, 16.7 seconds remaining. Oklahoma led 39-28 at half. This is Jay Randolph along with Gary Thompson. 
Hilton Coliseum, Ames, Iowa, Julius Mikulik, the big Czechoslovakian at the line for Iowa State, trying to complete the three-point play. He dies. <laughs> 71 and 73, the two-point lead, Iowa State. Price puts it up with six oh, remaining, bad, taps bad around. Back comes Thigpen. The bad shot by Price forcing it. Iowa State wins 73-71. The Cyclones have equaled their win total of last year with this first Big 8 victory here at home. Jay, that's a great comeback win. You like to get off in the Big 8 season with a win. And there's Johnny Orr pumping his fist. You have to win them at home. It had been a big win for Oklahoma to get one early on the road against a team that's going to give everybody trouble here in Hilton Coliseum. And the Sooners came in here, really played tremendously. What a marvelous comeback, though, for the Cyclones. It's kind of two different halves. It was Oklahoma in the first half. Iowa State finally got the intensity and their defense going. They played quick in the second half, and that got them back in the ball game. A huge win here for the Cyclones, who had that big win in December over Iowa here. Iowa State goes to 12 and 2, wins their first Big 8 conference game. They've now, Gary, won three in a row from Oklahoma in Big 8 play. It's on the board here at Hilton. Iowa State 73, Oklahoma 71.